Hey YouTube. Are you done? <laughs> Guess not. Yeah. Get over there. Sit down. We're barking at people. Anyway, as I was saying, something about this look a little weird to you? Yep, me too. You know why? Cause the sink ain't Right. Let's get scratching. So, years ago, I made this video. And uh, it's done pretty well. Like, a lot of overwhelming positivity on the video. A lot of people, it's helped a lot of people. Uh, a couple of people didn't like it. I uh, started seeing a lot of these comments pop up where people are like, eh, you know, the softwares are different now. Uh, everything's not where you said so it's time that I finally do an updated version and I'm gonna break it down for you in pretty much three simple steps ready record a video of yourself doing this you'll notice that it looks a little weird uh, it looks like the sound and video are not exactly in synchronization All right, next, you're gonna bring the clapping video that you just made into your video editor of choice. Uh, now the first time around, I used Blender because it was free, it's open source software. Um, but now there's there's more than one software that you can do it with. There's Blender, there's DaVinci Resolve, from what I understand, I've never used DaVinci Resolve. Uh, but that's also free. The one I'm actually gonna be using is not free, it's Adobe Premiere. But the process is exactly the same. All you have to do is be able to see the waveform of your audio and be able to scrub through the video frame by frame. So whatever software you want to use, as long as it can do those two things, you'll be fine. So I'm going to open up Premiere. Like I said, don't need Premiere at all. Use DaVinci, use Blender if you want. Uh, I'm just doing it with Premiere because that's what I've been using most recently. But again, any software that's a video editor will work. All right, so we're here in Premiere. New project. I'm not going to save this or anything because I'm just going to leave it as untitled. All right. <clears throat> so again, whatever editing software you use, just import your your clip that you made, and bring it over to where you see the video and the audio clip. Now, normally, my, mine, you'll see it has two audio tracks. That's because when I do my uh, Let's Play playthroughs, uh, I record the desktop audio on one track and my vocals on another track. Uh, so that's why I have three tracks here. But if you're recording everything on the same one, you'll just have two, and it'll look like, it'll look like that. All right, now, if you saw the first video... Um, the very first one that I did which is exactly like this this will look pretty similar so you go ahead and you scrub through until you get to where the clap happens audio wise and it's not there so then you just go through frame by frame and in this case it looks like five frames so yeah the sound well actually you know what it could be four or five frames because the sound starts to happen right here, but the actual like impact of the sound is at the peak of the waveform. And you can actually see that if I zoom in a little bit more. So there's the start of the sound. You see it's not quite there yet. So then you got it right there and that hits the top of the peak. So you can do it from either one. Honestly, one frame of difference is not gonna be noticeable. But from here, you go one, two, three, four, and there my hands are touching. And then you can check it somewhere else if you want to. All right, so one, two, three, four. There it is again. And so on and so forth, you get the idea. 
Now, what does that do for you? In the first video that I did, you can go back and watch it if you want, uh, I brought you to this website called End Memo or something like that where you punch in your info and everything like that. But if you want to just do it in person, I'll give you the formula for it. So what you do, you take the amount of frames that your delay is happening on. So in my case, four. There's a four frame delay. You take those four frames and you divide that by the frames per second of your video footage. Now I always record my stuff at 30 FPS, so mine would be 30. Uh, if you're recording at 60, it would be 60. If you're recording at 24, it would be 24. And you would just take however many frames of delay you have, divide that by your frames per second, and then multiply it by 1,000. Uh, the reason you multiply it by 1,000 is because one second frames per second, one second equals 1,000 milliseconds. So, in my example, I have four frames of delay. I have recorded at 30 frames per second. And when you divide those two, you get 0.133 repeating. Now, once you multiply that number by 1,000, you get 133.3333 repeating, so on and so forth. Now, I rounded this down because uh, OBS doesn't allow you to put in decimal points, it just wants whole numbers. So I rounded it down to 133 uh, milliseconds of delay. Now what do you do with that information? Well, you go into your recording software. Now this is Streamlabs. This isn't OBS, but Streamlabs is built off of the exact same framework. So you'll notice that everything looks pretty much the same except for the color of the layout. Um, but they're essentially the same software. OBS came first. Streamlab just basically built the exact same program, uh, which is why theirs is called Streamlabs OBS. If you want to use this one, that's fine. If you want to use regular OBS, again, that's fine too. What we want to do is where all of your audio devices are, you come to the mixer, click on the little wheel, and you'll see that currently, right now, mine already has punched in the 133 uh, milliseconds there. Now, this is for my microphone. And that's because when you're scrubbing through your footage, you'll see that either the audio happens before or after the delay. Uh, my audio comes, or before or after the video, sorry. My audio comes before the video, so I need to delay the audio which is why that's right there. If you need to delay the video, then you would actually do that through the video effects filter. You would go to your camera, which in my case is the laptop camera, the one that I use to record the clapping video. You would go to filters, and this is the one that you would want. Video delay, async. If that's not there, you would just open it up like this, and then just kind of scroll through until you find it. Video delay and then you would punch in the amount of the delay that you need. Same process, it's just if the video comes before the audio, you need to delay the video. If the audio comes before the video, you need to delay the audio. Um, exact same process either way, it's just using the filters here or using the filters here. Uh, but again, pretty simple. Anyway guys, after you do that, you're all good to go, which is why now that I'm speaking to you, you see that everything is perfectly synchronized. But yeah, so that's uh, that's the whole process. Updated for 2020. Essentially, exactly the same. People were just limited by softwares and everything like that. Um, there was a comment a while back that said, I actually think it's the pinned comment in my first video, so let me see if I can find that one real quick. Yeah, so this is the very first video that, oh, hang tight. So this is the first video that I did. And this guy's pinned comment here says that if you don't have the gear next to the mixer, uh, you right click on that area. I think that's only in OBS because Streamlabs, it's clearly right here. Uh, but if you don't see that, just right click in this area and you should be good to go. Um, 
Like always, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section and I'll get with you, help you out in any way that I can. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.